Hi, this is Bonnie Francis, and we have our Senior Summit coming up on May 15th at the Route 18 Park, and I wanted to talk to Tim Milland, he's from Chesapeake Hearing Center, about their um, booth that you're going to have there, first off. Tell us what people can expect when they stop by and talk to you about Chesapeake Hearing Center. Well, the summit, which is uh, on May 15th, is fantastically timed for us because May is Better Speech and Hearing Month. And oh, so I during the month of May, we, we make a concentration of making sure that we're out in the community, mm -hmm. spreading the good word of doing good things for your hearing. As far as conservation, making sure everyone's pulling out their lawn mowers, they're doing gardening, they're bringing out a lot of noisy equipment. Okay. Let's make sure we're wearing hearing protection to protect what we have. And also, as we're coming out, just like our grass is growing and our, you know, things are budding, we're coming out of our homes and maybe we've been inside all winter not hearing so well. So this is a great time of year to get your hearing checked. So we'll be there screening hearing and answering questions about if you do have a little bit of a hearing loss, what can you do about that? We'll be there with an audiologist. Okay. Uh, uh, to answer questions and we'll have plenty of information and giveaways this year to help people uh, learn more about hearing and hearing loss. So what actually does an audiologist do? Well an audiologist is someone who has their doctorate level degree in mm -hmm. audiology. They go through a program undergraduate in speech and uh, and hearing disorders and then they go to a postgraduate degree which is a concentration in just hearing disorders. It's audiology. They study all the physiology, mm -hmm. the, the difficulties that people have. So when they come out, they are a doctorate level and their concentration truly is the ear and inside. So if you have a problem with your ear and inside, that's a non-medical problem. This is what an audiologist do, does. If you have a medical issue, they will refer you to an ENT or an otolaryngologist for surgery or medicine, you know, ear infections, things like that. But when it comes to a hearing loss, the, the person to see, the, the leading expert, is the audiologist. Okay. So they'll do some type of quick analysis out there? Yeah, we'll be doing pass-fail screenings. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a noisy environment. Yes, know? it is. What can I yeah. say? There's a lot <laughs> of people that come through there and they make a lot of noise and we're not in an ideal room, but we are in a room off the main hall in the, uh, I guess it's the 4-H ex exhibition hall. We'll be back in there. Um, and we do just a pass-fail screening. We will also be following this program up during the month of June, visiting the various senior centers in Queen Anne's County, doing more screening. So people who, if by whatever reason they can't get by our booth that day, right. will be coming by the senior centers in the month of June doing more screenings. And we'll, it, that'll be a more controlled environment. Okay. So you'll be at each of the centers one day sometime in yes. June? Yes, yes, and we'll have okay. flyers that we'll be handing out at on May okay. 15th that will announce the exact days. Okay. Well, I'll look for that too because we do um, like announcements on what's coming up. Okay. So I'll look for that flyer so we can make sure we get it on the TV for people to know. Okay, very now, good. If someone has that hearing loss, what do they need to do? How would they get in touch with with your facility and, and what do you do there? Well, it's very important if you do have a hearing loss that you do something about it. Um, whether you come to us or you go to someone else, it's more important that you do something about it. An untreated hearing loss will lead to a lot of problems down the road. First off, it leads to exhaustion. If you go throughout an eight hour work day with a hearing loss where you're constantly having to lean in and, and really concentrate on what people are saying, end of the day you are exhausted, uh, you're irritable, yeah. you, you come home, you know, holy cow, you know, your spouse or your children are saying something and, and you're just gonna fly off the hook because you're exhausted, you have no patience left. So it's good to treat that for that reason. Um, the other reason is, is you're starving your brain of information. We know for a fact there's studies that have been done up at Johns Hopkins University and there's been a lot of things in the paper of late about this, that if we starve our brain of information, we actually, your brain, it, it will be one of the uh, causes that brings on early onset of dementia. Right. want to prevent that. 
So giving our brains as much information as we possibly can is fantastic. So go to someone, get your hearing evaluated, whether it, you need to get a hearing device or whether it's just really counseling to position yourself in a proper way. Uh, you'd be amazed how many people just have ear impaction of wax and we can get their ears cleaned out and they hear a whole lot better. Sometimes people just have a mild hearing loss and they just need to be aware of that and put themselves in strategic positions so that they can hear better. Right. But if you do need a hearing device, hearing devices these days are so nice. They are uh, so far advanced. Uh, the technologies are fantastic. We deal with American-made products, and they, they really do a very nice job. They're durable. Um, once again, they're made in the United States. Uh, they give clear sound quality. They give the, uh, the audiologist the chance to customize it to your hearing loss. But more than anything else, we have the trained professionals that have been doing this for a very long time that can make this work for you. And that's what makes all the difference in the world. A device is a device, no matter who you go to, but a provider is the difference that makes the makes all the difference in the world. Right, because if someone has something that's not working, I mean, just like we were talking about with the, you know, yes. you want to make sure that it's placed in the right location or that it is turned the right, I mean, because things can happen or, or people could put something wrong and then it's not doing Correct. the job it needs to do. And we always ask that our patients keep notebooks of when they go out with their hearing aids that they, they of situations that they struggle in okay. so that when they come back we can adjust. We also use something called rear, rear, sorry, real ear measurement. Okay. That was a mouthful in the morning. Um, and it actually allows us to target their, the, the response of the hearing aid exactly into the area that the patient needs. Um, so th there's a lot of technology that we can use to really bring it in, but more than anything else, it's that audiologist sitting down and, and understanding what the patient's needs are right. on, on an individual basis. Yeah, it's we're not all a, different. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's, everybody has a unique situation, and it's important that you're handled that way. Um, and, and, you know, we've been doing this for 40 years, right. so I think we're beginning to get the kick of this, you know. Now, I know one of the things people don't like to talk about cost-wise, something like this, um, is there any help that people, because um, most insurances don't cover something like that, correct? Well, there are some insurances that pay for part of the price of a hearing aid. Okay. Uh, if you belong to a union, uh, a lot of time union coverage is available. Uh, Medicare does not, right? but then Medicare pays for a lot of other things that people really need. Um, hearing aids just are not included into that device. There, hearing aids are considered, you know, people look at them and say, wow, that's really expensive. But on the other side of the coin, so are elect every other electronic device out there. Right. What you're really paying for in a hearing device is the expertise that goes behind it. You can go out, it's, to me I always like to say it's like a pair of braces. You know, you go to the orthodontist, they put a bunch of wires in your child's mouth. You know, it, it, you look at that hardware and you go, I'm paying how much for all this hardware? <laughs> but then you go back every week right. for the next two years and they make adjustments and they never ask you for another penny. Right. When you come to us, you, we do charge you a couple thousand dollars, but we never ask you for another penny because we're going to stand behind that product right? until it's out of warranty. When it's out of warranty and there's a charge that incurs, then, then we unfortunately have to pass so the charge on to you. When, when you have a senior citizen, is there any way that they could do like payments and things like we, that? We offer so many different payment okay. plans. That it's, I mean, we do uh, care credit, Wells Fargo, we take all credit cards. Okay. Um, there are, for people who are financially challenged, the Hearing Foundation through Starkey Hearing okay. is available. They have a program called Here Now. Um, you have to be financially qualified for it. 
Uh, you can go on to uh, but that's why we do this dot com. You know, yes. so people can get that information and Absolutely. find out. Absolutely, and we participate with them. We actually twenty five dollars out of every hearing aid that we sell uh, that's manufactured in the United States goes to uh, the time. Hearing Foundation. Good. So we help found uh, fund this foundation, and they also do mission work around the globe to help put hearing aids on people in third world countries that would otherwise not hear. Right. Which can help people. I mean, they got to be able to hear in order to be safe. Oh, absolutely. I mean, things could be around and them not hear it and end up getting hurt. Well, and there's also the, the gentleman, um, uh, William Austin, he's the founder of Starkey Hearing. He's kind of on a mission. He wants to uh, fit a million people with hearing aids around the globe. And his mission is he wants people to see that there are Americans that will come out and do good with no political agenda. He's not tied to one party or the other. All he wants to do, he has one agenda. He wants to help people hear better. And that's what we're and, to do. Right. We're, we're supposed to and help that's, one that's another. All he does is he goes in, he goes into some of the worst areas in the world, um, and, and he fits people with hearing aids. And they, they have follow-up programs. I mean, he sets up a whole program that goes that tests them ahead of time. They fit them. They have follow-ups. So it's not a just fly, fly in, fit yeah. them, and nothing happens afterwards. I mean, it's a whole program that goes on. And it's a fantastic program because for a lot of these people, they have never really heard before. And they get to hear sounds the first time. You, you, the videos that come out of children hearing their mother's voice for the first time will bring a tear to your eye guaranteed so it's a wonderful program and we support it wholeheartedly right, right at chesapeake caring centers all right well hopefully people will stop by your booth get checked out them. and Absolutely. then you know and we're giving away a, a a basket of spring goodies for gardening and everything so if you want to tune up your garden come by we'll have a good giveaway this year so come by and enter and and We'll see you there. All right. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you.